Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, August the 20th, entitled Dreams, Visions, and So Forth. Now, Sunday morning we talked about hearing God's voice in the mix. We talked about being able to hear God's uh, intervention into our lives. And I believe, as I said Sunday morning, that God is speaking to us every day. He's looking for the way that he can communicate that we will be able to perceive and be able to hear. As we looked at the video of uh, the way that different people experience the voice of God, it's almost always tailored to the way that the person themselves uh, grows and learns. Like with John Chambers, it's in pictures. With Holly, it's hyper. With uh, me, it's ninja. You know, those quick thoughts. Now, in the Old Testament, before the Spirit was given in a way that uh, was uh, blanket to everyone because of the work of Christ, which made it possible for us all to have the actual indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Uh, two of the ways that God uh, profoundly spoke through the prophets was through dreams and visions. Now, in uh, Numbers twelve six, it says, When there are prophets of the Lord among you, I will reveal myself to them in visions, and I will speak to them, in dreams. Now, dreams are obviously when we're asleep, and yet we have such vivid uh, understanding or clarity of something that uh, they would recognize that God would speak to them in their dreams. A vision would be a dream when you're actually awake. In other words, something so vivid in your mind's eye that it almost is a picture before your very eyes. And sometimes maybe they even saw uh, what they were looking for. But in either one of these areas, it's God invading into our natural world, his supernatural understanding. Now, in Acts, after the giving of the Holy Spirit, Peter reaches back and quotes from the prophet Joel. And in Acts 12, I mean Acts 2, 17 through 18, he says, In the last days, God says, I will pour forth my spirit on all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. And even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. Now, we talked about dreams and visions. Prophecy is getting an understanding to where we speak the very word of God. In other words, we speak forth a now word of what God is saying to a group of people or to our own life or to the future, possibly. But it doesn't. it's not limited to the future. It can be just this is what God is doing at this moment. In every one of these things, dreams, visions, and so forth, they're all God breaking into our lives to give us the wisdom that we need, the understanding. That's the reason James said if we lack wisdom, we need to ask God. He wants to give it generously. Now, we have to learn to listen. We have to learn to realize that uh, one of my favorite verses is, take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. Every dream, Every vivid picture in my mind, every word that seems to come into my mind, those ninja thoughts that catch me off guard, every single one of them go, God, is that you? Are you trying to speak to me? And if you are, what are you saying? And even as I shared Sunday morning, uh, so many times I just grab that thought and then turn it over and over in my mind. I have these conversations with God going, Lord, is that you? And how does that play out? And and if this is true, and, and if that's what this means, then how would that work? And and if this is how it works, then how should I respond to this? And and if that is how I should respond, how and before long I've got this in this full understanding of what I believe God is saying to me. So I encourage you. God wants to invade your life, maybe through a vivid dream, maybe a, uh, a vivid uh, a picture when you're awake, like a daydream, you know, where you just get so caught up in your thoughts that, that it becomes so vivid and so real. It may be just an understanding of a now word that God is speaking. It may be something that you sense that God is telling you to do. Whatever it is, do what Scripture says. Take those thoughts captive. Line them up with scripture. In other words, make them obedient to the teachings of Christ. And then act on what you believe God is sharing. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I thank you 
that uh, through the work of your Holy Spirit, you said that you were taking what is yours and making it known to us. Lord, whether it be a dream or a vision or a now word or whatever you would use, Father, we ask that you would speak. Even as we talked about yesterday, speak, your servants want to hear. Let us hear your voice, even as we seek to move forward in growing in hearing your voice. And we look for you to do that work in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll continue to keep your spiritual ears open as we look to hear God's voice. I'll see you tomorrow.